Okay, so I'm going to be doing something new today here on my YouTube channel. Um, I actually streamed this on Twitch and TikTok as well too, but I'm also going to be posting this on my YouTube as well. So today I'm going to be doing a Try and Hack Me Lab, which is going to replicate the day-to-day -day duties of a SOC analyst. I get asked this question all the time. What can I expect as a security analyst, as a SOC analyst, or anything that's entry level when it comes to cybersecurity? And with this lab right here, it's basically going to show you exactly what you are going to be doing as a SOC analyst. And um, I have already completed this lab, so, you know, don't pay attention to that. As you guys can see, it's already been completed. But as I am going through this lab, I'm going to be basically breaking down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it so that you guys can understand what is going on. And um, as you guys can probably tell right now, once I start it, um, it's going to be on a Linux box when most of the time when you're working as a SOC analyst or a security analyst, you're most likely going to be using a SIM and in a SIM, it's going to make all the logs look kind of pretty and you're going to see what I'm talking about shortly once this loads up. Uh, it's going to take a little minute as well too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, ah, let's pretty much read the objective and ask him what it's, you know, looking for. So, the Santa Secret Operations Center has noticed one of their web servers, SantaGift.com, has been hijacked by the Bandit Yeti APT group. FMAP Blue's task is to analyze the log files captured from the web server to understand what is happening and track down the Bandit Yeti APT group. So, the learning objectives for this particular lab, you're going to learn what log files are and why they're useful. You're going to understand what valuable information logs can contain. You're going to understand common locations these log files can be found. You're going to use some basic Linux commands to start analyzing log files for valuable information. And overall, the biggest thing, we're going to help Elf Mac Blue track down the Bandit Yeti APT. Actually, hey, that sounds like a pretty cool name <laughs> when you think about it. But, um, yeah so let's get into this and another thing as well too if you are on try and hack me try hack me i suggest you use your own virtual machine and just use open vpn so you can connect to their um their network because using the um the virtual machines that they offer it is extremely slow and it, it's kind of annoying honestly it's extremely annoying what is this okay here we go all right so the first question is use the ls command to list the files present in the current directory how is that so if you don't know what the ls command is like i said it basically lists everything that's in the current directory that you're working in so let's just see what record uh, where directory i'm in right now just so you guys can see so i'm basically in the home folder i'm in the user of uh, elf mcblue which is pretty much the user and let's see ls as you guys can see ls the log and web server dot log those are the two um what you call the two logs that's there so obviously there's two um elf max kitty managed to capture the logs generated by the web server what is the name of this log file and as you guys can tell obviously it's going to be called web server um that's going to be the actual name of the particular server that's going to be used i meant the logs the name of the file that the web server is going to be using i screwed that all the way up web server log is the name of the file for the web server logs there you go <laughs> my bad i had a tongue twister right there um so number three begin investigating the log file from question number three to answer the question all right so to look into a log file or to read into any file that you have on a Linux system, you're going to be using the command called cat. And with cat, and as you go, okay. And so this goes to another piece when I was trying to tell you guys, remember when I was like SOC analysts or security analysts typically use SIMS, which is basically, um, basically a piece of software that makes the log look pretty. So when I look at this right here, it's going to be a ton of text. Actually, let me make this a little bit bigger. So let me redo that cat web server. Uh, my bad, y'all, so y'all can see that. 
I will go back down to it. Okay. So as you guys can tell right now, this is a lot, a lot of data in these logs. And I know you guys are probably wondering like, how am I supposed to go through all of this information to find what I'm looking for? Like that's, it's almost impossible. And we're gonna get into that once I start um, showing you guys around and start answering some of these questions. So as you guys can tell, all this stuff took place on November 18, 2022, which is, let's see, November 18, 2022, what day was that? that is a friday so we go back november 18th friday i have that right there as you guys can already see you got the answer correct and then let's go back to the ip address um in the logs again you can see this is the ip address that caused all your logs to happen and this actually is the only ip address in this particular um log file so just add that here. Um, this is the IP address of that as well, too. And so, I think, so, now, searching into, like, these log files can get a little bit tedious. Like, if you don't really know what you're doing, um, the regular person or a person that really don't have any experience within Linux, they're probably just going to scroll and 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 scroll. And that's probably not the way to go. And so basically what it's asking for us to do is to find the file or find the name of the um, text file that was stolen or the name of um, the file that was stolen, which is Santa's naughty and nice list. So in my head, when I'm thinking about, okay, a file, it's a list. Obviously that's a TXT file. That's gonna be a .txt file. So I'm gonna use the grep command to find this. And because I know, well, it's probably gonna be a TXT file, so find something called list. Like, and so basically with this grep command, I'm basically gripping the word list out of the web server log. So any word or anything that has the name list in it, I'm gonna be pulling it from that file. And so let's see if I can see anything right here. So again, as you guys can see, I'm not really seeing anything kind of going through. Uh, this is weird. I'm not finding any of this. Actually, let me let me try something else. Let's try list.txt. Maybe that'd work. Oh, boom! There you go. Sansa's list.txt. Oh no, that's kind of weird though, because I wonder why I didn't pull up the txt file. It may. Uh, it may be used something different. But yeah, as you guys can see, when I use grep of the list.txt, then it basically pulled here, right here. And as you guys can see, this is the git request where it downloaded the file. And they actually use wget command to download this. So as you can see right here, 200 code, that means it was successful. And this individual is able to download this onto list. So you guys can go back and see, I did this right here, inserted it there. And so now I look through the log files for the flag THM. And so let's look at this SSHD. So let's try looking at both of them actually. Let's so again, remember guys, when I was talking about um, the grip files and stuff like that, how you got a grip. So basically what I'm about to do is, is look up the flag that they was asking for me to look up. And I'm going to look into it in the web server one. All right, that wasn't there. So let's try looking into the SSHD. And boom, there we go. THM stolen Santa list. And as you guys can see, I got it right there. But overall, um, this was an, an extremely easy lab. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot here. Um, and I'm definitely planning on doing these a little bit more so I can go more in depth and actually just really explain what I'm doing in them so that you guys can learn more and more from these. And um, yeah, so again, this is typically the life of a SOC analyst. This is what I was doing when I first got into the industry. Um, even as an intern, I was also doing this as well too. I was working as a SOC analyst. 
I was looking at logs, I was looking for um, events, triage, and I'm investigating, trying to see what happened. And typically after you um, investigate an alert or look through it, or just pretty much try to find out what happened, you typically have to write a report. So for this right here, I would probably create a report. I'll say, hey, on this day of November 18, 2022, I observed that, um, you know, we had a breach or we had some information that was downloaded from this particular web server and this person was not supposed to have access to it or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I would basically just outline everything that I just did and give them a report and show them. And in that report, I would write out what I observed. 